Hi, Tony Poulos here at Communicasia 2015 in Singapore. Today I have a great pleasure of having with me Sue Bryant, the Director of Solutions Marketing at Huawei Southern Pacific. Sue, welcome. We're hearing a lot about smart cities, but what exactly does the term mean? It's a really good question, Tony. I mean, I think it's an overly used term. I think what we're seeing at the moment, though, is a lot of cities who have smart projects, perhaps not so much smart cities. To me, a smart city is a city that has one vision, one plan and one set of infrastructure. Presumably, we need a solid infrastructure in place, you know, before we start thinking about smart cities. But how important is ICT in the scheme of things? Well, I think smart cities are totally um, dependent upon ICT. I mean, it's really all about taking information from different sensors, different devices, correlating that information to make intelligent planning decisions. You know, perhaps around traffic, it could be around health, around all aspects of how we live today. So ICT, very critical to smart cities. How does uh, Huawei see the smart cities evolving and, and uh, what will be the course of action? I think in terms of technology, you know, to get to that ultimate goal of smart city, we need to have the appropriate network there. We're talking about managing billions and billions of devices and we're not far off from having things like 5G, uh, you know, which will accommodate that. I believe also the other, uh, other technology that needs to be put in place is the, the correct uh, operating system for all these devices, you know, so that these devices can actually have a common interface to all the applications. And of course, big data is going to play a big role, again, in smart cities. So I think network, operating systems, big data, and then of course the applications. So we're talking here about the Internet of Things as well, aren't we? Absolutely, because that's what smart cities are based on, is the Internet of Things. And what role do you see Huawei playing in these plans? Huawei's role is fundamentally to be an enabler. We are going to enable governments and phone companies and operators and enterprises to build all of these uh, new smart city applications. And we're going to also enable application ecosystems, you know, through our light OS that we're building at the moment. How long will it be before we see smart cities in place? I think we're starting to see them today. I mean, everybody is evolving. So it's not like there's, there's going to be a smart city tomorrow. We're starting to see some really good projects happening. We've got governments who recognise that they need to stop being so siloed and have this one plan, one infrastructure, one strategy. And so I think there's some really good examples today of smart cities evolving and, and we're here in Singapore. Singapore Smart Nation is one of those. Sue, thanks for spending time with me today and explaining the smart city concept. I'm looking forward to one. Thank you, Tony.